Are, are, you, are you wheeling and dealing? Wheeling and dealing. Another day, another dollar. You guys know how it goes. Gotcha. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so, um, where are we at? Do that you have, guy oh. hasn't uh, accepted my contact request yet. Oh. Maybe he doesn't. Does he know? Does he know who we are yet? Or have you introduced? Have maybe, you? Maybe he's just playing like hard to get. You know. Oh, maybe. He just came online right now. Oh, okay. Gross. He's a pu- he's a punctual guy. <laughs> He's four minutes early. Jesus. Yeah. So send him, I don't know, send him your call. I don't know. How do you guys do this? Do you just do plus? Yeah. What? up to date with everything. And he, he looked over the agreement too. And just, uh, yeah, looking forward to meeting you. So he'll be on in one second, I guess. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah, we're excited. <clears throat> we're I've been excited playing. to meet him. Do you, yeah. play, do you play Magic the Gathering? Uh, I have, but not regularly. Uh, okay, I think we talked about that one time where we were talking about modern masters. We just, you know, we we like the last couple calls we've been doing have kind of been brainstorm sessions, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. For like sure. a brainstorm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a uh, in the um, I don't know if you guys use it in your industry, but in in video games we call it a brainstorm. Yeah. It's also there's a magic card called brainstorm too, but the um, that's the one that makes you draw cards, right? Three cards. Three cards. Yeah. Yeah, and then you have to put two two back. Yeah, but um, <laughs> at the bottom, I think. But but yeah, I know uh, we we usually have brainstorm sessions, um, uh, via via Skype calls. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Makes sense. Do you do most of your your um work via Skype too? Or? It's all over the phone for the Hollywood folk. <laughs> yeah. Are you you, you probably you have like two phones and a BlackBerry. It's it sunglasses and yeah. just. And a red convertible. Yeah. And and a dog that fits in my purse. Well, there you go. Yeah. Do you yeah. carry a purse or a merce, as they call it? A mer a man purse is that a merce? Yeah, merce. No, yes. A man a man purse is a merkin. <laughs> I think so. Merkin merkin socks. The closest thing I have to a merkin is uh is uh, is a wallet, and I definitely do have one of those. But no, I, I haven't found a dog that can fit into that yet. I don't. I don't carry a wallet. I have a. Uh, I have a boy that follows me around and carries all my stuff. <laughs> like a golf caddy. Like a golf caddy. Buddy. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. next level. I got him from uh, one of those shipping container crates. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that movie. Um, what was it about the kid that comes in the barrel? Oh, I don't remember. Terrible or something. He was like a robot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember that one? I don't. It was weird. It was like I think a... you told me about it though. We yeah, should make that movie then. We'll make Super Meat Boy come in a crate. Yeah. We got. We got. Some can we get? Ideas. Can we get away with that? With the with like a? Wouldn't that be an adult movie? Mm. <laughs> no, I think ships are pretty PG. I mean, unless Super Meat Boy has got a huge penis or something like that's you know that kind of stuff's X-rated. Mm. Yeah. How, but, why is like, that? Why can they show, and you might know this in Hollywoods, why yeah. can they show a woman's vagina, but if they show a dick, then that's like, that's like extra risque, and then borders on the NC-17 barrier. Why is that? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you can show a vagina. Uh, you know what? There's a whole big double standard with the uh, rating systems and it's it's very closed uh, mm. circuit they just pretty much semi arbitrarily decide what they want to give it based on loose guidelines they have but there's a lot of wiggle room mm. and there's a, there's a documentary called this film is not yet rated I've about, seen it yeah I've seen exactly, it. exactly that no. so, I thought um, it was like a, a Christian right thing yeah I think it's like an old Hollywood Republican conservative kind of just like we're gonna preserve values of uh, who who knows who knows yeah. oh, okay so he just accepted my request so let me we ran into some issues with um with the ratings boards with super meat boy when we um like they, when we introduced chili beanies at the end yeah and the um he does you you saw you got to chili beanies right no I didn't get that far okay he's he's Hello? midway through how far did you get? Um, just the first few levels. Oh, I think Hello? I think came came on. Hi. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Yes. We're all here. Meet Tom and Edmund. Hello. I, I have a hard time. Hey, telling fellas. How yeah, are you? Yeah. Your voices sound identical. Really? 
In in a way, yeah. Maybe I'll... it's like, uh, did you guys grow up in in like Hollywood? Is it like a maybe it's like a voice or something? No, yeah. no, 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 no. We're both from we're both from. Well, we're not. Yeah, that, that's not true. But uh, maybe we can ask. Can you guys hear me all right? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Yeah. Can he can he hear us? Art, are you there? I don't I don't think he can hear us. Oh man. I'm gonna type in the yeah. chat. Does There's he usually bit. use Skype? Yeah, it's a little better now. Okay. Oh, can hear you us? hear us now? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Man, I yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I can I, you guys really do sound quite similar. Yeah, I, it might be just the way. I'll just I'll just watch the Skype so I can see. Wh- yeah, what... so we can see which one's lighting up. Um. Uh. Yeah. So hi. 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 How are you? Yeah. Uh, good. Good. How How are you? Excellent. Uh, we were we were telling that we um we record these because oh. uh we get off track very easily as <laughs> as I'm sure Gary's told you. Uh, we, yeah, so we record it's, them it's, so we It's can honestly go back more, later. it's more, well, I mean, as Gary probably remembers, I'm not, my memory's a little funky these days, yeah. but, um, you know. We're, well, we're in crazy push-up mode to get, to get for packs, so. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're just working non-stop, like. Wow. Yeah. Have so. you, have you been to packs? I haven't. It, I'm sure it's amazing. I'd love to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like Comic-Con. Uh-huh. Except there's um there's more like games and stuff. Yeah, it's more game games and stuff. When does it start? When's the uh, when is that? I think it's at the end of August. When's PAX coming up? Yeah, end of August and yeah, we're just finishing up a bunch of stuff to show. We gotta finish um well I'm sure Gary told end you. End of August? Yeah, end of August, yeah. We're we're working on a couple things to show. Did did Gary how how much is how up to date is he on on everything? Has he does he yeah. know about skate game? Does he? Well, well, equally excited to get Super Meat Boy on uh, in, in like treatment form with your approval and then script that that you guys kind of love. Um, I have told him how you guys have a skateboard thing, but I think we both agree that we got to make it very much about yeah. Super Meat Boy. But did you did you give him the gist of like how, about, about how the trailer works and everything? Because we're we're trying to figure out a way to incorporate. Kind of do like a crossover, like a, a cross. I think it's like a cross there's, pollination. Yeah, there's we could do a cross pollination because there's elements of skate game that will easily fit into uh-huh. at least from what we can see would easily fit into a, a Meat Boy script. Okay. Um, so and tell tell me a little bit more about skate game. I think like, it, I think it'd be good like, if uh, if Gary told you because like. We go off on tangents all the time. He, he's the more like, I know we only have like 30 minutes or whatever because we don't want to hold you guys up or anything. So it might be better if he tells you his short thing instead of us going on and on for an hour about Skate Game when you want to talk about Meat Boy. I, I, have, I have time with, I, I'm, I'd be more than happy to do that, but this is about like hearing you guys and your perspectives and, and you know, talking so why don't you guys? Yeah, yeah, don't don't worry about you know to, tangent away. I mean, I, I basically I want to you know just chat with you a little bit about sort of what your aesthetic is and what what you guys like and where you're headed and what you know what you've done so far. Like I I love you, I'm a huge fan of Super Meat Boy. Oh, you um, you've played it? Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. How, how far how far did you get? I mean, I'm not a very I'm not a, an amazing game player, so I haven't gotten very far. Oh, okay. <laughs> But I I love it. I mean, it's it's a super cool game. We were, we were actually just ch- talking about chili beanies. Did you get that far? No. <laughs> yeah, we were we were trying to we we're going over like the difference of rating boards because, um, in it's 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 halfway through the game, but I mean it's pretty pretty close to the beginning. But yeah. when chili beanies appears, he does this kind of like pelvis like this like jiggle. Uh-huh. It, that was something that the rating boards were weird about, and we're talking about like what can you show, <laughs> what can't you show mm-hmm. in oh, a in a movie. But um, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I think we're all on the same page when it comes to like we want to keep it we want to keep it kid friendly enough. Yeah, but we still want to be able to like give it that edge, and that's what we were trying to figure out like with Skate Game and exactly how we could incorporate that kind sure. of edge. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think you know. So it sounds like PG thirteen is kind of what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, you're you're familiar with the game. Did you did you get it on like PlayStation or something? I'm actually playing it on a on a Mac. Oh really? Uh, so, so, sorry yeah, about so, that. 
<laughs> no, I know it's not like it's it's not its optimal form, um, but it's cool. I mean, I I just you know I think it's a great it's a great idea. I love I love the uh, I love how hard it is, even though it does, you know it's hard for me to to really crack it. But it's uh, I, I you know it's just super smart and and the character is so um, such an awesome who's, who's way. Who's your to, favorite? Who's your favorite character? I mean, I just think Super Meat Boy is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so tell me, tell me a little bit more about kind of like the the. I haven't had a. I I want to read the comic books. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. But tell me more, a little more about like sort of how the story evolved for you guys. Well, well, what we were thinking was we're trying to think of a way to make it so, um, like, men and women were equal. Yeah. And because we were just talking about, like, just before you got on the call, how it's okay to show vagina in a movie, but if you show dong, all right, of a sudden totally. you're, you're getting into NC-17 territory. Right. So, so um, yeah, I don't know how much Gary told you, but when the girl goes upside down, upside down in, the, in like a silhouette yeah. kind of situation, you think it's a boy on a skateboard, right? And then... As she comes back around like a loop, like it's like a loop, it's like silhouetted, completely black, and you see kind of like God rays in the sun. She comes back down, drops down, the helmet comes off, and all the hair comes out, and you're like, I thought it was a boy, but it's a girl, and it's kind of like a liberated thing. Yeah, because what, what, what we're saying with that is you don't have to be a boy to be able to do boy things. You can do kickflips and be a girl and go upside down in front of the sun and show who you really are. I mean, sure. that's basically where we're at. Yeah. Cool. So, I mean, it's yeah, it's a compelling idea. I like it. And, you know, the thing is that is like a huge, a huge issue in our society for sure. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's why, like, what I'm thinking too, like when the, like when the helmet comes off, they'll, they'll be like, you know, like they, how they shake out their hair in like the, uh, in the shampoo commercials like that. Mm -hmm. Blue like for for a second though, it's like a it's like a really a really deep message because it, for a second, as you're shaking it out, you think it actually might it could be a guy with long hair too, but then nope, it's a girl again. Yeah, it's a girl instead of instead of a guy with like long surfer hair, which you're expecting because I don't know if you guys have ever been to Venice Beach, but like they are skating sure. around all the time and they have long hair all the time. Um, but there's also the thing of like well. Maybe the maybe like the body type. Maybe like it's a progenist thing, and maybe it doesn't even matter. Yeah, maybe maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe he's not a boy or a girl. Maybe he's just a person. And but that's then all. The, you can't. But tell. that's all that really matters in the end. That's what matters. But I mean, so, this is we've been we've been talking to Gary about this for a while, and he. So this is all from our from our trailer. Yeah, from our our skate game uh, skate game trailer that that came out a little while ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, even even Gary said he was. He was taken aback, I think. Yeah, he was. By, but I don't know how much he told you, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I he, he told me a little bit about it, but I actually haven't I haven't seen the trailer yet. Okay. Um, yeah, but uh, but it's but from what he told me, it's a, it's super cool. I think it was on AOL videos or something. Whatever, yeah. whatever the big site for the for the online videos are. That was our our launch was on AOL videos, but the um because they they cover all like video games and movies now. You probably know. Yeah, like AOL. Sure. AOL's big. What's the name of the actual game? Is Skate Game? Yeah, it's called it's called Skate Game. Right. Cool. That's so, do you guys have any ideas of how you would like to see Super Meat Boy adapted? Okay, so the other day, like after, like actually last night, I I uh, really haven't slept yet. I I get insane, but um, <laughs> so I watched. Um, Look Who's Talking. Have you seen that movie? Yeah, sure. I love that movie. So I really like how they like showed the babies, and the babies had the celebrity voices, but they weren't like they weren't really talking. And like, I don't know if you guys have seen TV or anything, but there are like talking babies in everything. Like every single commercial for like E Trade yeah, has sure. like talking babies and. If we did a Meat Boy with a talking baby, that would be, I don't know, if, maybe like in a trailer or something that would be good. Maybe like the, maybe something like that would be good. But what I was thinking is like, what if we were in a butcher and like we had the different cuts of meat 
and each cut of meat had like a different celebrity voice. Like here's a pork loin, and the pork loin has a voice of like Robert Downey Jr. And then here's here's a, a little brisket, and that's uh, that's Ellen Page. And then like maybe no, that's... Cam uh, Cameron Cameron Diaz, remember? Oh yeah, but that's her mom. Oh, okay, okay. That, <laughs> that's like the bigger the bigger version of the mom. Is yeah, yeah, Gary was like Gary said that we can we can probably get her, so I'm thinking we should definitely uh, incorporate her in there. Yeah, my heart's pretty much set on Cameron Diaz. I'm hoping we can get Ellen Page and Robert Downey Juniors. I went I'm, back and I rewatched some of her movies just to see if I could place the voice to the meat, and I yeah. really think if, that it would work perfect. If yeah, like when definitely you, we're definitely thinking her. Yeah, because when you <laughs> when you like Ed was saying, I went back and watched The Mask. Okay, uh -huh. and um, that was like. Cameron Diaz's breakout film, uh, but what I did is I had uh, I get I get my meats from U.S. Wellness Meats, um, and I just took all the frozen meats and I put them <laughs> on my desk and I just looked at them, and I imagined like, does this sound like Cameron Diaz? And then yes, that one does. No, this this cut of meat doesn't. So in a way, I've already <laughs> casted a lot of it by just looking at these different cuts of meat and deciding what their celebrity voices would be. But yeah. We could do that, and then like, uh, there, there's there's the sky's the limit. I mean, do you know how to do puppets? Do you know? Art? Do you, are you still there? Oh, Gary, I think he cut out. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Oh no, I see, I'll see, still see him. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I, I had a. Uh, it just started to fluctuate for a sec. Oh, okay. okay. No problem. So yeah, Tommy was talking about like. Just yeah, do you know I, how to do puppets? Sure. Yeah, I mean, you, I have, they, like you put you put the hand through the back. Oh and yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. the mouth. They in like the back in the day they call it ven, like a ventriloquist um, situation. Yeah. You try to sync up the you know the 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 audio vocals with the it's, mouth. The, it's hard because the mouth only moves up and down and not into the side. Because when you say like an O sound, it goes into the sides, but up and down. Yeah. It's, I highly recommend you check out the documentary about the Elmo guy. Yes, it's a very oh, I good saw one. that. That was incredible. It was a very okay. Good so you get yeah, 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 exactly. So you know the the basic idea of puppets is you try to yeah, make, yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to make them appear like they're real, and you, you right. try to sync up the audio with uh, with the movements of the mouth. It's harder. Mm -hmm. It's easier to tell when the, when the puppet's not real when it's felt, because when it's felt, they have like different color skin and stuff. <laughs> But yeah, but so, is it does that does that cost more or less though? Like how what what factors into the budget? That's the only thing I don't understand. Yeah, like yeah, like for example, if we wanted a bunch of of, of puppets, like is that they, less or more? Yeah, is it more, more than, to cast less than, puppets or more than what? Oh, puppets are more than regular actors. No, no, I mean, it totally depends on the actor. I mean, I think probably if we were going to do this, I would what I would imagine the way in my head I imagine it is that there's it's a combination of live action and 3D animation um, 3D well, animation I'm composited I'm into I'm not I'm not a huge fan of the 3D like I like I like the old school look like the uh... well uh, could, what like Roger Rabbit yeah that, exactly is like, that 3, that's is that 3D animation too that's 2D but that's 2D composited into but it, 3D but is, 3D it, space. is it 3D when it's see because like in 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 video games, when you composite a like a two D into a three D, it's all universally three D. So, like, how does that work? Yeah, how does that like, work internally with film? Does it have to actually? Do you have to have the glasses and everything in order for it to work, or are we going puppets? Because I don't like the movies with the glasses. I don't. I don't care for the the glasses. It seems like, like a fad. I don't know if they you give got... me a headache. And oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not that into the three D thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't like it. Did Did you play a three D S? Did you ever? Three D. Yeah. Yeah. No. Movie, yeah. That. That's it's an, it's a Nintendo like a Game Boy thing. Yeah, and that screen is three D, but you don't need glasses, and it gives me a headache. So yeah, I definitely want to avoid any movies. Yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't headache. played that, but I but I I agree about three D. Yeah. Yeah, we're thinking about doing a a three D Meat Boy on it, but um, mm -hmm. but it's the three D the three D glasses thing is is weird, like how right. it all hooks up. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand it at all. Um, I mean, that's it's kind of like the the kick of three D movies, as I'm sure you guys have seen. 
everybody's doing 3D movies, everybody's yeah. doing 3D games. So, when you say a mix of live action and whatever animation, like, in your, in your mind, how, how does the movie, how does the movie, like, open, let's say? Like, is there, is Meat Boy, like, 3D, or is... I'm losing you guys. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Is, is like, to you, is, if, you, if you're saying, like, live action and animations, uh, is, is the, how does the movie open for you? Like, how would a, a, a Meat Boy... Well, I mean, I, I've got, I've definitely got a, some ideas, but I, I don't want to, you know, dictate anything at this point. Like, I would much rather kind of hear your thoughts oh, on it. Oh, we're just trying to get a, can... we're trying to get a feel of, like, what you creatively see it as, because, honestly, I'm, I'm Code Man, and Ed is uh, Doodle Boy, and that's all we know how to do. Like, we don't know how to do anything else. We're not good at business. We're not sure, good at anything. Sure, sure. I don't know how to do 3D, but I can do, like, if you need, like, sketches on paper and stuff like that. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? Are you guys there? Hello? Yeah, 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 I think we're all here. Yeah, uh, I, I think I cut out for a second there. Okay. Um, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I haven't I haven't okay. won any awards or anything for my art, but I I do think I can probably do a pretty good job. Um, but I can't do 3D, and that's that's like the only issue. Like, if I can do I don't I can probably do puppets though too. But I don't know how much work I would actually be doing on set and where you would need me. And and to that to that effect, I don't even know where I I mean I could program lights or something. Do we need to be like how involved will we actually be in the production? Do you, do you guys know that yet, or have you I figured think, out that? I think, um, I think the most important thing is your creative vision, and you guys are, are really, really protective over the intellectual property. So for you guys to guide uh, creatively uh, how I create the, the treatment and then the script is where right. you guys can contribute most. So we'll be hands-on with that, but when it comes to, like... Definitely. Like, I, I want to be able to... Can, we'll be able to meet the celebrities, like... Oh, like, yeah. Okay, good. Because yeah, I'm... Yeah. The meeting and the partying, that, that goes without saying. But definitely um, the foundations of the script uh, and the treatment, which is called development. The yeah. development portion is where you guys are going to be most utilized. And then all the grunt work and like lighting, you, you don't need to really worry about that. You guys will, will certainly be um, reference for casting, too. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, because like, are we going to be in the movie? You uh, can be. I mean, that's certainly a possibility. Yeah, they you call them think in, about in it. games and games. They call them um, cameos. When yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like a walk-on cameo onto Jay Leno's. Because right. I've seen that happen. I would love to shake Cameron Diaz's hand. Mm -hmm. um, that would be awesome. And that's. I mean, I don't know how much you talked to. But like realistically, we we don't need to do this, but it's kind of one of those things where we're kind of enamored with the idea of, you know, it's like stars and Hollywood, and I like how everything goes on down there, and you guys, yeah, yeah. You guys and, and, it's, uh, it's, it's a place that, if, if we had it our way, we would be doing, we would be doing that stuff, but, you know, we just don't have, we don't, we don't got the skills. Our that's skills, what I mean, you guys have a ton of other skills. Our there. skills is all in computers. <laughs> well, a lot of stuff's going that way these days. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think, I think, yeah, we're thing makes a lot of sense you know that that uh, in the development phase we'll be working together in terms of like showing you guys sort of our treatment as it evolves so that it's you know you you retain the sort of like creative vision and that's why I, I, you know as we as we continue this conversation I want to hear more about sort of like the origin of, of Super Meat Boy where it came from what these how this did kind you, of like did you see indie game the movie ethos yeah, I did, which I loved. It was great. You guys were great then. There was a lot of um, there was a lot of backstory in that. Um, right. I don't, I don't know if uh, Gary told you, but yeah, we we phoned in a lot of it, but a lot of it is sort of genuine. <laughs> did, did you did you tell him about? Uh, I ha I haven't. No, no, no. I gave him the brass tacks of it and told him like you guys were involved in the monetary end of it and had to kind of like contribute to that. But why don't you go ahead and tell the story real quick? Yeah, please. Well, like. What what didn't what wasn't shown in the movie is that we and this is all like don't reveal yeah we're gosh, we're, gosh. we're gonna do it's called uh, voice NDA so no right <laughs> okay no talky yeah. no don't talking consider it, don't, consider it signed yeah. don't reveal this information but um the the last half of Meat Boy like we outsourced that 
Yeah, that was all oh, outsourced sure, sure, to India. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So like just, a lot I was of... just outsourcing animation to India for the last two weeks. I, I get the vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can yeah, two guys making a game, not even close. Like no, no it's too you, hard. Like two guys can make a movie. Like really, yeah, like a high exactly. production value movie. <laughs> right. No way. Yeah. So, but yeah. I mean, how? So yeah. So I mean, we kind of phoned it in, in the end. But, um, you know. Uh, we we made it happen still, mm-hmm. right? Oh no, oh, absolutely. Well, that and that's sort of what we're talking about in terms of the creative oversight, the mm-hmm. vision. But I do have a lot. I do have a lot of contacts there. I mean, I assume you do as well. But I'm thinking that maybe a lot of the puppets we can actually have made in India and have them shipped over. Probably because they they do it cheap. They really do. I I I don't want to know about the labor. Um, I just know that <laughs> it doesn't cost a lot and. Uh, it's it it shows up quick and it doesn't cost barely anything like yeah i don't know i don't know how it works in hollywood but sometimes with in our industry you just kind of got to look the other way sometimes yeah you just have to you 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 do what's best for you right yeah and you you (laughs) have to well i mean i I, you know it's always one of these things too like is it really bad to employ the world i don't think so necessarily no, I mean, no. like, you yeah, don't want to I mean, be they, abusing people, but they get monies. You know, they yeah. Get I mean, if, I'm sure they're. I'm sure they're gonna get. I mean, they get paid. I'm sure, right? It's they. They can't do slave labor like anymore, can they? Uh, there are all kinds of things happen. The I mean, I think the convention was, says you can't do slave labor anymore. Yeah, but look at the Geneva Convention. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I talked to. I, I mean, we only talked to one guy. Um, I, I think his name was Bogdar on the phone when we when we did the order, and he sounded like he was fine and healthy like he sounded fine yeah he didn't he wasn't coughing or anything he was he was pretty because i mean okay. that was that that was a worry of course you know you know you, you i recycle and you know i try i have a prius and everything and yeah. i'm trying you know to do my best here but uh you know i don't want to i don't want to rock the boat yeah we don't want to rock the boat no 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 We're, we'll keep the the world in balance that way but in, in the meantime how? Where did Super Meat Boy's idea come from? Like, just yeah, the original. The right. original. Oh, it was actually some, it was actually a friend of mine. Um, that was his idea. I, yeah, I had um, I was working with uh, another programmer, and we were doing a flash game, and it was basically all his idea. And then we just kind of I met Tommy, and I just I took it, and it, it was kind of a sequel. You could look it up. It was uh, Meat Boy. It was just called Meat Boy. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a flash version, and we were able to dodge the legalities by. Um, Calling it super. You yeah. call it, You put a super in front of it, and you change the art, and then he can't do anything. It's not the same art. I mean, it's. it's we looks- did. We did give him a little bit of hush money, uh, but he doesn't know how much we've made. He's a kind of a bumpkin, if you will. But, <laughs> but yeah, it was all his idea. I don't we, want to come off like an asshole, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Whatever. I mean, the thing is, it's it's an idea. That's the thing, you know. An idea is not worth th- that much. It's all in the execution. That's mm-hmm. what, you know, people are very exactly. protective exactly of their ideas. Said. Yeah. Exactly. I remember you said those exact words. Yeah. Well, because when he was complaining, remember he was calling up and freaking out, and I'm like, listen, you, <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm the one who, who drew it all down on paper, like, right. you know, and I, an idea is an idea. Like, sure, he, you know, came up with the name and everything like that, but, like, I actually drew the you know the cube yeah, and, and then i sent the emails out to india to actually get it coded so where was he in all that does, does he has he ever like threatened to sue or has he oh no we got him to sign we we had uh we had a dinner with him at a pizza hut and uh when we were there we had we had him sign a little piece of paper that we wrote up that says i can't i can't sue you for this and you guys made it and i don't have any claims and then he signed it so, yeah, jo- Joseph looked it yeah, over. Joe right? says it's all good. Uh, can, we're we're legally. Can I see that one? Can I see that? Can I see that piece of paper? That'd be important. Yeah, for, I have but... it. I have it around here. I can uh, take a picture of it and then uh, email it to you. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. that'd be good. Yeah, take a picture of it. I because as you can appreciate, that would be important. Oh no, of course. And and we have. Oh, to go... oh you, you. So you guys are like you're worried that we might not. No, no, uh, no. Probably not. I mean, since you have made a game. That's been copyrighted, and you you know he hasn't come after you for the game. 
No, it's no. probably not an issue, but it, it'd be nice to see the paperwork. For yeah, sure. we had to do the same I mean, thing with Microsoft and PlayStation. Also, we had to do the same thing. We had to send them a picture of it too, and they got the picture of it, and they they said it was okay, and they looked through it with their lawyers. So okay, well that's good. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, yeah, it, got, it got through their uh, you know, I don't know what you want to call it. Legal, their uh, legal gauntlet. The right. yeah, so, the wall the wall of Microsoft or mm-hmm. whatever. You know. So. So we, I don't know joke, how we like sorry. to joke back and forth about Microsoft um, because they were like, you know, like we joke that they're corrupt, but they are. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm sure it goes. It's very, you know, it goes pretty deep because we like to joke. That's how we like to joke anyway. We ju- we have that kind of humor. You were going to say something. What, what was it? Well, I was just going to say, you know, while we're on the line, um, sort of in these early days, like, is there anything that you want to hear about what I've done and? Who well, I am? Uh, Gary, Gary told us what we it was. We were pretty confused in the beginning because we um we thought that he said that you had done ghoulies. Yeah, we and thought for the you longest did time I went to I don't know I had to go up to um I, I rent I rent from uh, from Redbox. I don't, it's uh it's it's like by the Safeway, and I I I couldn't find any place that actually had ghoulies, so I had to go to Video Video, mm-hmm. and I rented it. I come back and we talk on the phone or talk on Skype again, and he tells me that. It wasn't Ghoulies that you did, it was Gremlins, and we couldn't even find that one on the shelf. Yeah, we, I couldn't find a copy of Gremlins anywhere. No, no, no. I, I didn't do that either. <laughs> you didn't do Gremlins? No. <laughs> guys, guys. I, this, is, this is, no, no, no. He, no, Gremlins, he didn't do. He did remember, and you... Th- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I thought that was an addition. Is it, you've only done one movie? Yeah, I've done, I've done a, a feature film, but I've, done, I've been making films for... Um, I've done a bunch of documentaries. You? Well, there you go. Perfect. There you go. We're all in the same ballpark. So I don't know, wait. I'm like so confused now because so I, I, I like I have it still written down on paper because <laughs> we we went through and Gary was telling us how to spell Gremlin so I could make sure I looked it up. I still couldn't find it, Gary. I looked everywhere. Originally, yeah. when and I were talking about this idea, I had a concept, orig- like you know, a, a little while back. Of yeah. doing super a Super Meat Boy movie in a Gremlins style, um, taking a page out of the book of like bringing Gizmo home and then who's a what's a Gizmo? We haven't oh, so, seen it. We haven't oh, seen. Okay. It. We saw Ghoulies. I saw Ghoulies. And Ghoulies was like super dark, and we're like, how does? Yeah, this... no, no, no. Yeah, it's got no, no, there, no there's movies. a part in that movie where the, the <laughs> guy there's a guy in a toilet. He bites off the guy's ass, and I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, no, how, it's not that. I don't see how this is being applied to Super Meat Boy. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. No, basically, there's a, the story of Gremlins. I'll give it to you in a nutshell. Gremlins is about a guy who who buys this little stuffed little stuffed animal thing. Think like tiny little Ewok. And okay. Ewok? Oh, is it, it home. Is it, is it like a George Lucas film? I've seen the Ewok. Um, the Ewok. That is, no, Ewoks it's, are yeah, from that cartoon. Nothing George Lucas. Uh, okay. Other than. Imagine a furry little animal. He brings it home, and then he's told two things not to do, which is like, don't get the thing wet, and don't feed it after midnight. And both happen. And that then, sounds a little risque. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then the little thing turns into a, a gremlin, and then a bunch of gremlins. Oh, and so then, it's not a it's not a gremlin when it when they get it. Right. It becomes these like horrible little things that start like you know attacking everything in the neighborhood and blah blah. blah. It's co- it's a comedy, but it's so uh, that it doesn't sound think- funny. It sounds terrifying. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> it's a mix. Anyway, you can now let's go back as a step. What my idea was was something to the effect of a guy acquires Super Meat Boy in. A grocery store aisle, potentially. Like the game? Because the game, we no, don't sell the no, game no. in the grocery store. No, not, not the game, but the actual Meat Boy, right? Oh, and that's and that's where the, like, so it's going to be a puppet. It's going to it's gonna be like a fuzzy puppet, like a... Uh, or a cartoon a that's integrated into live action. Okay. And, and then, and basically, but, but we play it as if it's real, obviously. Because it won't, I mean, it's not going to well, be real, but you're going to, you're going to put the... Well, and then, and then the sort of cast of characters that you guys created in the game, the princess and, and the fetus in a jar wearing a tuxedo, like all that stuff comes into play in this guy's world, basically. And Havoc is wreaked and he's trying to deal with it. And Super Meat Boy is trying to save the princess. And basically the, the plot of the game comes into play, but it's in this live action environment. So who's the guy then in the game? Well, do, we, do we have to put the guy in the game? 
No, he's not in the game. Oh. The the game is like the, the game is just the touching off point. There's that there's this like real life person going through this story and well, I, I, I we don't have any human characters in the in the game though. No, I understood, but basically the idea like you know any like any of these sort of live action films you need to ha- you need to sort of like start with the idea and then it's got to go somewhere, right? So yeah, like oh. people can't play the movie, so it's got to have a storyline. Well, that, actually, they can. We have these. Uh, they have these things. They're called gaming movies, and they have the the joystick in the in the movie theater, and then like you vote with it. I saw it on Inside Edition a long, long time ago. But that all these people were movie. like watching this movie, and they would hit the controller back and forth <laughs> to see who who the person would date or yeah, something sure, like that. Sure. So they could play it. <laughs> Yeah, we could do we could do some incorpor. I mean, because that's what Tommy's good at. Like he, no, 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 no. he's come up with a lot of different like technological things. Yeah, I've invented like a bunch of different weird tech stuff. Guys, he's got he's got a lot of really good ideas, especially I I should really hear him out with the lighting. I should patent some of them. Guys, 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 let me cut in and and, like we we spoke about this. All this is great. Maybe like a special screening, maybe for like a promo. All these kinds of ways to like promote it. it. It would be you guys like are gonna brainstorm and we're gonna make this happen, but. As well, like, because we talked about it. The, let, me, the, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. The product itself needs to be a clear cut movie where you sit in the theater and you watch it. It's a clear cut movie with meat in the seats. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That's Do we have control over the posters? Um. <laughs> Probably the the production company and distribution companies will want something to say on that end. Can oh. we can we tell them what to say? You can have a, a thoughts on it for sure, but okay. honestly, like no distribution company will buy a film without having pretty much full creative control on the poster side. Oh, see, that's what we were talking about, Gary. We wanted to be able to have a, at least some creative control over that because we, we had a, we had an issue with Microsoft where when they were putting together some promotional materials. They, they wouldn't listen it, to us. They they put they were putting some they they wanted Chili Beanies to be in it and was like it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, like, it's not until the end of the game. It doesn't make any it, sense. They, they were like they were spoiling stuff within the the right. actual promotional materials. They were spoiling the end. They showed how you finished the last puzzle. Yeah, it was. It didn't make any sense. It was like you have no idea. Like it it was. It's the blind leading the blind, as they say. Mm-hmm. Like because because um. It's like an analogy with, because one they can, one person can't see, and if the other person is blind as well, then they wouldn't be able to go anywhere, and that's essentially what's what's happening there at Microsoft, because we're, we're telling them, you know, doesn't make sense, you're you're spoiling the ending of the game, and they still put it up. Yeah, they, they put, still put it up. They put it yeah. up, and it was it was all over the place. So I, mean, I, it's, we, it's, I it's, totally, it's, a touch, it's a touchy subject. Yeah, it's, yeah, no, it makes sense. Yeah, like, makes sense that it would be touchy. I think the thing is, on some level, you know, it's. It's it's pretty far away right now. Mm-hmm. Like you know, this is very early stages. In well, it's terms like six of... six months away because that's about how long it would take to do the movie. And so it'd be out. The movie would be out like what March? No, no. What we're guys just to, like in the contract, two months for the treatment, and then six months for the script. We just if need it to takes, if it takes longer to do. Do we have to pay more? Is it a no, was, no, no, no. I was confused when I reviewed the last tape. I was I was trying to figure out exactly how the increments work, and I still don't fully understand because okay, you said so it was four, eight, and six. Four, eight, and sixteen, and then no, no, no. But, no. And I, did, but then Tommy said something about it going up even further, and I didn't understand it. if if we go past if we go past the time allocated for the for the the script or whatever. Do we yeah. have to pay an additional, or do we get, or do we start? I think what happens is we start okay. getting money back, right? Let me just let me just explain it. So it, okay. once once we agree and you guys sign that agreement, um, are gonna write a treatment with your with your contr- contribution, and we are allotted two months to get on the same page with a full treatment with you guys, where you guys approve it. And if you approve it, then we'll take that treatment and make it into a full screenplay, which is the blueprint of the entire film and. In my opinion, the most important part of like this entire. Well, so wait, you're gonna. So how does this work? So when you actually do the play, you actually act out the whole movie. No, no, no. It's a it's a piece of paper. It's a ninety pages of writing that are the blueprint for the film. The treatment is is twelve to fifteen pages of of prose writing, 
And the screenplay Close. is 90 to 120 pages of screenplay formatted writing. So then once we have that, and go on, I sort of interrupted you. So yeah, exactly. So once we have that, then, then you guys pay $12,000 to do the screenplay. And once we're all on the same page creatively there, we're going to give you half of that money back because we're not doing this just to make money for the treatment and the screenplay. Half of that money does, goes. Does the, does the money matter at all at the top of the speed? Like if we ended up, if we, like let's say if we doubled, like if we doubled the amount that you're asking for, can we get it done a little faster? Yeah, can or we get it done in sure. a month? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, if you want to make the treatment instead of four four $4,000 in two months, you want to make it $8,000 in one month, yeah, I think we can do that. Is that could something? We do it, could we do it in time to announce at PAX? Yeah, because yeah. PAX is like a month away. It's, yeah, it's I mean, 29 days away. How long would it take to get the treatment and the script ready for PAX? Like, what would that take? And how much I would mean, it cost, though, financially? We need to budget. Yeah, because we got to... We gotta, because PAX is already costing a good deal of money, and I'm sure uh, Gary updated you on the Microsoft situation and how we are currently – we're paying – the legal fees are very, very high. Mm -hmm. sure. okay. But we think we've got a really good case against them. So Yeah. Uh, we have, we have uh, screenshots of their, of their emails, and we've sent them to the lawyers, and I think we – So in terms of how much that they – how many games they've sold? Yeah. And, right, right. Yeah, I think we have – the, the screenshots and uh, the lawyers have those screenshots, so we should be we should be pretty did, good. Did Gary tell you about the situation or? Uh, briefly, but I can only imagine it's probably you know standard horrible shit that they do. Yeah, well, basically they they told us that we sold a very small amount, and we were trying to figure out we're like, well, that doesn't make any sense because you go to Pirate Bay and there's a lot on there. Mm -hmm. So Tommy, Tommy ran the numbers, mm -hmm. like doing. He calculated the Pirate Bay seeds versus leachers, mm -hmm. and um, we, we, he, he was actually able. He was like, "Wait, this is fishy. Like, it seems like more people have the game." Yeah, I used the calculator program I wrote to do it, and it it turned up. And then, the, and then when we showed it to the Feinbergs, the Feinbergs told us that we had a case, and they said, "Get us all the screenshots that you can." Wow. And so cool. yeah, we we got a whole bunch of screenshots ready for them. So I mean, well, a, so lot he, people, a lot of people think we have more money than we actually do mm -hmm. because of the movie. Yeah, but, I mean, it's it's basically like that money is there, but it, Microsoft isn't isn't giving it to us. So, it out yet. Yeah, yeah. We we basically once we once we beat the case, then we'll actually have the money. But yeah. Like, right, right now we're still. Right now we're just living off direct to drive. And, we're, yeah, we're hoping we're hoping that that like Skate Game comes out and does well, and that that'll kind of carry us. But um, mm -hmm. but yeah. I mean, but it, even so, it, like you're talking investments. about, you're talking about upping the amount for the treatment and the screenplay. Is that something that you guys can actually? Is that a boat you can float right now? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it depends on the price that you guys would name to do it. But uh, as long as it's not like too high, but because we're thinking like, as long as we're gonna get, because we would still get half of it back regardless, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, if it's a high, high number, not necessarily because. Oh. It would sh it would shift the dynamic of what we're like, buying so if, option if we, for. If we if we double if you're paying for speed, that's not necessarily that shouldn't make the option go up in price. Oh, okay. So, you know what I'm so saying? we we would we would get back less if we. Well, did it. I think what we're talking about is if you're if you're up if you're talking about upping the the number to make this process go you faster, so that you can get more pros on it, packs. like writing it, because you were talking about pros writing. Like we could hire five or six pros, and then no. those guys no, no, could write pros, all pros like pr long form pros. Like what's, what's long form pros? Like they're different. It's in in English lit, like how you write language. Like pros is the is what language is like how like full sentences oh. and paragraphs are pros writing. Yeah, but we know we know a few like really pro writers that can no, probably no, no. help. But that's we that's got not... a couple journalists that are really really good at writing stuff. You're still not not totally understanding. I don't think what what um, the word pros like means like, in this context. Like, it's not professionals. It's just long long form writing. Like 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 writers that have been writing for a really long time. No, no. I feel like we should get professionals. Can, can you help me now? On this, um, we should get pro, professionals because the pro, if we don't have professionals, then we're you just will. No, it. no, you will. You, I am a professional writer. I've I've written you're, eleven. You're a pro who can write prose. <laughs> what? I think so. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I'm like, I I thought you said that he had that he was a professional writer. I am. You're you're misunderstanding the definition of the word prose. P R O S E, not 
P R O S. I don't. Well, because okay, so like I did, I didn't. I didn't think this was an exclusive like word me, to yeah, guys. Guys, guys, get say, yeah, say what he's about to say. Let me, let me structure this again. Okay, so if you, okay, so who is a pro P R O writer? Um, he he can he and I will write the treatment as written in the contract. Now, are, are you a pro writer too? Yes. Like I, yes. I, I didn't know there was a term that, that you guys used. No, 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 no the what, term is related to a form of language. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like yeah, what, what you know, you guys have like packed. Like you know what that meant. It's the same. It's like it's it's a little confusing. Pax is a penny arcade expo. Yeah, it's a it's a um, it's an abbreviation. It's called an am amogram. Right, yeah. Okay. I'm on Wikipedia. Prose is a form of language which applies ordinary grammatical structure and match natural flow of speech rather than rhythmic structure. I have no oh, you fucking mean like clue what that like, means. Like a, saying, a form saying, of I writing. I understand. I think yeah. he's saying like when when he writes it, he he he's gonna do like a rhyming structure. Like no, a no, no, not at all. Basically, what I'm saying is the the treatment that you're gonna read. Uh -huh. Is gonna read like a short story, right? I thought you it's said gonna it was, have. I thought it was a screenplay. No, that this is before the screenplay. We have to before we write a screenplay. In order for you guys to sign off on the idea before we go for the full fledged ninety to one hundred and twenty page piece of writing, we're gonna be writing a twelve to fifteen page piece of writing, which is P R O S E writing, meaning it is sentences and paragraphs that oh, are. Wait. I, I thought you were saying pros. You're saying no. That's what I keep he's saying. saying that's okay, what can I'm, we? All right. He's saying he's saying yes. it's pro. It, I think Skype's cutting out. It's prosy, right? Yeah, it's prosy. Yes. So right. okay, because yeah, when you were like, oh, we're gonna get some pros to write it for us. Uh, no, like, no, no. Why don't we just hire those the same pros? Thing, I'm like, I'm right. like, how many? Like, I thought I thought you guys were professional writers. I didn't, yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, we like, are. Yeah, You're if you guys can write prosy, that's fine. The, yeah. All right. So now that we're all on the same page. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly, hire hire as many writers as you want. We if we if you need more, we can pay for it. Yeah, we can we can Here's pay for thing. a lot. When of... is PAX? When is PAX? In one month? Yes. Okay. So you won't have a screenplay, but you can announce the treatment. I think in one month we can cut the time in half if we double the treatment amount. Okay, but how much would that be? So instead of four thousand, it would be eight thousand. But I thought, it, I thought you said it was 16,000. 16,000 is the original treatment, which is two months, and then the original script, which is six months. 12 plus four is 16. And is, then it, you, is it a linear thing? Like, if we were to give you 16,000, could we get it done in two weeks? Yeah, I mean, it, it, the more money you throw at it, the more, you know, the faster it can be, certainly. So, like, if I were to send you, like, a million dollars right now. I can have it within like two seconds. No, no, that that is. A, that, I was I was being no silly. That. I know I know a lot well, about math numbers, but it would be it would not be very yeah, good. Yeah, he'd have to be a real pro. Yeah, right? would, it would, real would have pro. to get like almost uh, or a, a real hack. It's right. I think I think it's more a some total instead of linear then. Yes. So yes, yes, exactly, exactly. So if, if you guys, your ultimate goal is to announce it at PAX. And with a solid treatment in one month, that would situate you in a position where you could announce a treatment. Uh, okay. but, so how much would that cost us in the month? Yeah. Instead of $4,000 for two months, it would be $8,000 for one month. Do we have so, to give And you that's guys... all we have to pay is $8,000? For a treatment, yes. Okay, and then the treatment would go to... Us, like, where we would yeah. make a screenplay... And then the screenplay would that cost more as well? Yes. A how much? Would, how much it, would the screenplay cost? Six months. Six months would be twelve thousand dollars. So you, it would be eight thousand plus twelve thousand, which yes. is twenty-two thousand. Twenty-four. Twenty-two thousand. Yeah. No. So no. twenty-two thousand total in the six-month period. It, the seven six, months. Seven period. months period. Seven, seven months period. But you'd be able to get the treatment done in the first month. Yes. Right. But and, that, and that's and the, the do the screenplay faster, but it's, it's would, how, how does it how does it work when you showcase a treatment? Because we do. Yeah. What do we do? Like, do we do we hold it up or? Like I don't. I no. Don't know exactly. No. Basically, I think that, that what you would be announcing at PAX is we have partnered with. We're making a, a feature film. Oh. Do will they know who you are? Wait. Then, but we then we wouldn't need you to actually do it yet. 
Do we need to still pay extra to announce it? Well, you don't want to say that if you don't have something that you're at least, you know. <laughs> well, we said, about, it with, right? we said it with Meat Boy before it was done. Yeah, we didn't even. Uh, it's yeah. a little dangerous because. We live in dangers. Obviously, with the. I mean, I would be wary of that. With the, with the lawyer bills we've been getting, seriously. It's like we're like rappers or something. Right. You don't need other lawyer bills, so let's, let's, let's keep it by <laughs> the buck at least. Right? So do you guys need to be at PAX? Because I don't think we have enough badges for you guys to get into PAX. Uh, I don't think we need to be at PAX necessarily. You can do this with a press release, too. That's a, a, a what? Well, a press release? I'm, like pushing down and then letting... Is it like a pressure thing? Like the push... Well, we're already in push-up time. No, a press release is a is a piece of paper that you you write an announcement to the press to tell them the press meaning <laughs> you the press the, the, lingo, the lingo that you guys use. I'm I, to... yeah, this is I'm dazzled by this Hollywood talk. This is Hollywood <laughs> talk. This is <laughs> Hollywood. Come on, Brett, you've heard the word press release before. I have, press. but it's it's very synonymous with Hollywood, so I would understand press, it. Press press and release. No, no that's catch and release. release. I don't know what's going on here. I don't press know. And, I'm, I'm familiar with like pushing. It, sa- it sounds like it sounds like a happy ending or something. Yeah, the <laughs> you press you do a press release. And then, uh, and then you go home and don't tell your wife. <laughs> okay, so a press release is just basically a piece of paper. You write up the story that you want the media to write about your oh, oh, whatever so the it is. is. The treatment is a press release. No, right? the treatment is not a press release. That yeah, is a way that you can inform the press, people. Then, then so you don't want to send the, the tre- movie. You don't want to send the treatment out to the press. This okay. would just be an announcement for PAX that you're making a movie. Anyway. What are you going to say? I mean, let me just say, guys, 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 I, this has been almost double the amount of time, so I, I've got to go. I've got to go. Um, we, should, we should call it now. This was a good initial conversation. I think we're on the same page. You guys got a chance to meet, vice versa, and, and we like it. Uh, I can adjust the contract to say uh, in one month if you guys would like it or in two months uh, at, the same, at the same terms. You guys take a chance to think over, over it, and then like, I will talk about some creative ideas while you guys talk. Will you? want it can you can you just really quick give us the rundown on exactly how much we would be getting back so we know because i mean and and this is of course between us but like the money flow is is i mean the lawyers fees are getting they're hitting us pretty hard and if we can't win this case then it's we're in a horrible boat but we are pretty positive that we're going to at this point um we have the screenshots so. We we have a lot of a lot of the. Uh, when, when will you know? When when is the when is the trial or when is when is the final verdict? Like how how far along? I have I have no idea. They're in. Uh, they're doing it now or whatever. So okay. I mean, it should be uh, okay. uh, soon. Yeah, it should be. It'll, pro- it'll definitely so be after you guys facts. Would, you guys would need four thousand dollars if uh-huh. you want it to be in two months. You would need to send four thousand dollars if you want the treatment in two months. Do we send it? To- uh, you could send it to me and or like I'll be the point person. So we've we've had good communication. You just send it right to me. See, the weird thing is I don't understand because last I swear the last phone call that we said that said that you keep eight grand and it seems like you guys are actually not getting as good of a deal as the last deal. Yeah, we're not gonna have to like pay for your insurance or anything, are we? <laughs> no. No, Dude, no. That's that's because like, we, we have we have like um a, like an LLC. Yeah. And I don't know if that works. If I don't think we can cover you insurance wise. No, you don't. You wouldn't be covering us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so because they're, they're be like, completely separate. Because uh, like Washington taxes and stuff are uh, very all strange. All you do is about four thousand dollars if you want it for two months, or eight thousand dollars if you want it in one month. The treatment. Because that's the first step. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Wait. So I had it backwards. So if we want it by PAX, then it's eight thousand. Yes. And then at PAX, we get the four thousand back. No, no, you don't get the four thousand back until you approve the free t- feature length screenplay seven or eight months from now, depending on what you guys want to do. Oh, okay. 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 So this was good. We'll just continue over email the, the conversation, and then hopefully you guys sign the agreement and we move forward as as, uh, as quickly as possible. Sound good? Yeah. Oh wait, what's you... um, what's your pro- like? You guys work together. Do you guys have like a production company or something? I mean, we, we both we both do. We're, we're, we both have separate production companies that are partnering together to facilitate super people. What are what are those? So we'll uh, we'll continue over email.
Okay. And, you, and you, you, you guys have worked. To, did you guys work together on? No, I, I wasn't involved with that. This is uh, we're, we and I are developing several projects together in various and, stages of development. And but okay, so I'll, okay, I'm I'm, j- I'm sorry. I'm just going through my list that I wrote down as we were talking, sure. and just to clear everything up. Mm-hmm. They um. Neither of you guys worked on on Gremlins, right? But but you're thinking that that Meat Boy would be like a Gremlins game. No, it's not. It's there was there's aspects of the Gremlins movie that were a jumping off point for initial concept I had for a treatment for this film. Okay, so we're gonna get. That's gonna be one of the guys that's gonna help write it, or. But do you no. think you get the rights to that? That's the only thing that I don't. No, no, no. It's gonna have nothing. It's gonna ha- basically. It was just like a, a story, like idea. When you're when you're coming up with an idea for a film, sometimes you throw around other movies. And this, I'm not using this as an example for your film, at all for the film we're talking about. But sometimes you'll say, okay, it's a you know, it's Jaws meets, you know, Schindler's List. Just to give someone an idea of what you're talking about, but that wouldn't make sense at all with the with the. Direction. No, it would make no I've sense. Never, and it I've has never no, seen I'm just Jaws. using that as an example. Just it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. But just to Jaws, say Jaws, that's Tom sometimes how we talk about that's how, sometimes how we talk about these projects when we're developing them. Just to just so that to bounce it off the wall, just be like, this is it's kind of like this. Oh, like how Skate Game is Braid plus Minecraft. Exactly. Okay, that makes Thought. sense. Makes sense. Cool, guys. So, so, I'm gonna so head out. yeah, I'm gonna head out, and um, uh, you can. Should, should I should I red box Schindler's List in Jaws, or is that no 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 no? Do not. That has nothing to do. With that. I, I was I've just seen, using that as an I've example. I've seen Jaws though. I I <laughs> haven't seen Jaws, but I've seen Schindler's List. Jaws, guys, I'm it's go. just a, a shark movie. It's has <laughs> gotta go. So do oh, I. Um, oh, but I it's great chatting yeah. with you. Okay. Good talking, guys. Uh, well, I'll send a follow-up email, and we'll, we'll take it from there, okay? All righty. Thanks, guys. Okay, perfect. Thanks, guys. Great right. chatting with you. All right. Yeah, see you. Night. It was a good brainstorm. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, take care. Talk to you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.